Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lokes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. This is a series of lessons looking at ways that we can estimate cost of chemical plant equipment, and it is based on the textbook by Turton et al. And you're going to really need that textbook to be able to truly follow along with this. We are looking at chapter seven, which is on capital cost estimates. And at this point, we are looking at the module factor approach. The basic steps are that you're going to go to Appendix A of the textbook and you're going to find the C sub P. And then you're going to look for F sub P, which is a pressure factor, and F sub N, M, a materials factor. And then use that to get an F sub bear module, BM. And then use that to calculate the bare module cost. And then of course, whatever cost you get is going to be in $2,001, and so update that using SEPSI values. The example we're going to look at is indeed the one from the textbook, uh, but we're going to compare the equipment cost and installed cost for a shell and tube heat exchanger with an area of 100 square meters for carbon steel or stainless steel at one bar or 100 bars. Now, <clears throat> Shell and tube heat exchanger is not the language that they use in the appendix. They are much more detailed. Um, shell and tube heat exchangers can be all sort of styles. Uh, common ones are floating head, bayonet style. You can have fixed tube. Um, we're going to, for the sake of this, we're going to assume that these are floating head shell and tube heat exchangers. Now, for all of these, they're all going to be the shell and tube heat exchanger. The size is going to be 100 square meters for all of these. So we need to look in Appendix A for the formula for C sub P naught. And that is, and you'll need to look this up to make sure that you understand how to do this. Okay, that's the formula. You just get that from the book. We've plugged in the size is 100 square meters. And if you look at this in the calculator, you get $25,327.95. Or $25, and I'm sure that's exactly what they would charge you. Okay, now keep in mind this is in $2,001. So we can go ahead and adjust this to $2,016, and then we don't have to worry about that again. So C sub P naught is 25,327.95. The SEPC in 2001 was 394. And in 2016, it was 541.7. And so therefore, in 2016 dollars, the price would be $34,822.71. So C sub P naught is the cost for the item of that size made out of carbon steel at one bar. So we do in fact have our first item done, okay? But now then we want to look at how we would move this to being a bare module cost, which is installing this piece of equipment, and what we need to do to change the materials and the pressure. So if we return to the appendix, then we're going to find that we can look up a materials factor for carbon steel for our floating head heat exchanger and for stainless steel. For carbon steel, the materials factor is 1 because C sub P naught is based on carbon steel. 
and for stainless steel it's 2.73. Now if you're looking in the book, this is ID number one, and this is ID number five, and you look at the chart and go find those. We also see that for this, we're gonna need a value for B1 is 1.63, and B2 equals 1.66. Again, unless you have the book open and are looking at this, this is not going to be logical at all. Now, finally, we need to get our pressure factor. And if the pressure is greater than 10 bar, and it is, it's 100 for some of these, then F sub P is 10 to the power of negative 0 0.00164 minus 0 0.00627 log base 10 of 100 plus 0 0.0123 log base 10 of 100 squared and we get F sub P equals 1.084. Now in the case where P is less than 10 bar, F P is equal to one. It's not zero, it's one. C sub P is C sub P naught times F P F M. Okay, I've got those written down, don't I? The bare module cost, well, it's going to be C sub P naught times B1 plus B2 if it's just carbon steel at one atmosphere, or B1 plus B2 times FPFM for a, a different pressure or material. So let's now use these and run these calculations for our various cases. So in 2016 dollars, the answers that I got, okay, um, C sub P naught was 34.8 thousand for all of them because they are all the same size equipment. C sub P, the purchase price of the equipment, for the carbon steel at one bar, it's just going to be the same number, 34.8. If I increase the pressure to 100 bar, I'm going to see that it's 37.7, okay? So it goes up slightly when I increase the pressure rather substantially. If I change materials without changing the pressure, the final answer is much larger, 95,000 instead of 35,000. And if I have the changed material and changed pressure, 103,000. That's just to purchase the equipment. To install it, well, I'm going to do the similar calculations, and again, you're going to see that the base price to install a carbon steel 100 square meter, okay, in 2016, $115,000, 119000 if I have a higher pressure. For the stainless steel, $215,000 or $228,000, depending on the pressure. Finally, I'd like to point out to you that there is a Excel sheet that is with your textbook, okay? It is a macro-enabled Excel file. Unfortunately, if you update it to the more modern file type, it crashes, it will no longer work, so just don't do that. Just always save it as the old-style macro-enabled Excel file. What it's going to do is it just has all those formulas out of Appendix A programmed into it automatically. You do need to put in the current SEPSI value and it will update to the current time. It will automatically assign equipment numbers and you're going to start to enter equipment, tell it you want to add equipment, and it's just simply going to ask you those questions that we needed to find the information in the appendix. So it's fairly easy to use. This is just going to take you through the front screen on cap cost. We will be coming back and discussing the other screens at a later time. 
Thank you very much for your attention.